Hi. Um, as I'm getting ready for Christmas and I've been thinking about things I can do for work, um, I need to start working, you know, right after the holidays. Um, I have a few different ideas and one of them is to um, do audiobooks or read books um, for online uh, platforms. So what I'd like to do is practice a little bit to see if I can get better at it because um, obviously I haven't done this before. Uh, so I'm going to try to put one out per week on my YouTube channel and uh, that just just for practice um, and so I've done my first one and it's a Christmas story and yes it's not perfect um, but I decided you know it's good enough for my first one and I uh, will do another one next week and we'll see how that goes. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, it's a good story for kids um, and not sure how to do an audio without a video on YouTube. So um, I just replayed the uh, Christmas lights that I had already recorded previously. Um, but it is an audio. You don't need to watch the video. Uh, so I'll see what I, I'm going to do next week. But anyways, I uh, hope you enjoy it and feel free to give me comments uh, and uh, let others, others know if you think other people would be interested in that. So it's going to be a free audio short story once a week for several weeks. Thanks. A long time ago, in a place not a million miles from here, there lived a man. There was something very, very special about this man. This man was very rich, but that's not what made him special. Since the world began, well, almost. There have been lots of very rich men, but the man that we're talking about was also very, very kind, and that is what's special. Very special. The very rich and very, very kind man loved nothing more than to give presents in secret to people around to him. It made him happy, very, very happy. But one day, he heard a story that made him sad, very sad. A long time ago, in a place not a million miles from here, there weren't the same opportunities for girls that there were for boys. Some might say that not much has changed, but that's a story for another day. And anyway, it wasn't this that made the very rich, very, very kind man sad. Not just that, anyways, it was this. One of his neighbors, a very old and very poor man, had three daughters. A long time ago, in a place not a million miles from here, no matter how poor a family might be, they were expected to pay for their daughter's weddings. But this man couldn't afford to pay for one daughter's wedding, never mind three, and he was proud, very, very proud. So although his three daughters had found husbands-to-be who loved them and wanted them to follow their dreams and didn't care a jot about money, the entire family was stuck. And it was that that made the very rich, very kind man sad, because life is far too precious to waste a single day of it being stuck. So the very rich and very kind man came up with a plan. On the first night, the very rich and the very kind, do you know what, let's call him Nicholas. On the very first night, Nicholas dropped a bag of gold down the chimney of the very old, very poor. Do you know what? I think we'll call him Ned. On the very first night, Nicholas dropped a bag of gold down Ned's chimney. The bag of gold fell into a stocking that Ned's eldest daughter had hung beside the fire to dry. In the bag was just enough gold to pay for her wedding, and so she got married that very day. A long time ago, in a place not a million miles from here, people weren't really into lengthy engagements. On the second night, Nicholas dropped another bag of gold down Ned's chimney. This time, the bag of gold fell into a stocking that Ned's, Ned's middle daughter had hung beside the fire to dry. In the bag was just enough gold to pay for her wedding, and so she got married that very day. On the third night, Ned wondered if the family's secret benefactor would return. He thought the very least he could do was say thank you, so he sat in a chair beside the fire and waited. But after two days of wedding celebrations, 
Ned was feeling tired, very, very tired, and his eyes were beginning to close when he heard a noise on the roof. Ned dashed outside and spotted Nicholas dropping a third bag of gold down his chimney. No prizes for guessing that, but this time the bag contained just enough gold to pay for a wedding for Ned's youngest daughter. You've brought such happiness to my family, Ned shouted up. How can I ever repay you? Bearing in mind that I'm very, very old and very... P yep, I get it, said Nicholas. But there aren't lots... But there are lots of things that you can share with other people. Presents are lovely, but a kind word is too. A loving hug, a genuine smile, a helping hand. It's sharing gifts like these that make our world better and a happier place. Nicholas spent the rest of his life being very, very kind. So much so that when his life was over, he was made a saint. Saint Nicholas, or Santa Claus, as he is now more commonly known. Of course, all of this happened a long time ago. A very, very long time ago. But you never know. Christmas is a magical time of year. And maybe, just maybe, if you hang up a stocking on Christmas Eve, Santa Claus will find a way to leave a special little something just for you. But remember, you don't need to wait until Christmas time to be very, very kind yourself.